How you feeling, Curtis? Feeling good. What's up, my guy? What's good. going on? Good, 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 good. Everything good. Everything good. How was training camp? Oh, training camp was good. Um, just putting up defensive touches right now, you know. I've been working for a minute, so when I got the call for a fight, I was very excited and uh, just turned it up a notch. Now with the Andre Berto part, uh, the fight being scrapped and you've been elevated, you know, um, being able to perform yeah. uh, at a better stage, how does that make you feel? Both feel good. So, sorry to happen with happened uh, Berto arm and shit like that, but I feel great. One of my, my first fight back uh, in the Barclay for the first time and it uh, gets nationally in, so going there and put on a good show. Now you've been known in the Torsi fight guys bigger than you, huge guys. Who, yeah. Training at 154. Now, how does it feel to be at this weight opposed to at 160? Um, I'm sparring uh, a little more faster guys, but you know it's just, it's just a speed thing. So, but you know, same shit though, just a uh, different day. Now, um, for the fight fans, and what do you know about your opponent? Uh, with the, uh, he, he's oh. never been knocked out. Um, he, he comes forward where he wants to. He tries to box. Uh, that, that's about it, though. You know, he's never been knocked out, my, in my case. That's as much I can say about him. But. Now, you've been known to have explosive power. You yeah. Know, seeing that you move down in weight, are yeah. you going to see more power? And are you going to see that knockout? Um, um, yes, same same power. I'm, I'm, I'm a little more stronger now. Uh, but the speed, the speed is going to be a uh, different, different speed now. You know, and, and obviously you're fighting not just to get money, but for you know a title opportunity. Yeah. Is there a certain champion that you're looking for in the division? Oh, Mungia. Mungia? Yeah. Is there a particular reason why Mungia? Oh. He, he, he beat my man Saddam. Mm -hmm. Golden Boy set him up, so I got him coming back for the get back, yes. for revenge. Let's say if you come out successfully and beat Mungia, yeah. what would it be next that you picture yourself going? After all their different weight types? Uh, it doesn't matter after that. You know, uh, whatever whatever key in the lineup, open the lineup, uh, just move forward after that. Yeah, it's easy to get to see if you right now you're working with different coaches. We recently saw homes that you look in great shape. Yeah. Ready to make noise on 154 Um, you know, I, I always work with Lenny, but uh, in the amateurs, but as a pro, like we always uh like we always hit pads, but he never was one of my coaches. But now we brought him in and stuff like that. Uh, feels great, you know, I'm just ready to go in there and, uh, and just get back, you know? That's about it. Were you surprised when they gave you the announcement, okay, Curtis, are you ready for a fight? Um, no. Uh, you know, I, I've been praying that uh, I get a fight, you know, because I, I haven't fought, well, I fought in uh, DR, but besides that, I haven't fought in, uh, in America in two years, uh, you know, so I was I was very excited when I got when I got put on the card and that uh, I just turned it up and just got ready. What was it for you to go over DR, you know, a place that probably it was the first time you first experienced and gained a title? Um, oh, it was great, you know. I, I traveled there a lot, but you know, um, I, I needed to fight, you know. Uh, we, we, we wasn't waiting on a promoter to put me on the fight on the card, so we took it in our own hands, went over there, we paid some money, and I fought. You know, I, I, I had to stay active some type of way. It was a pretty crazy situation. It was, uh, was that, how did you, yeah, you were literally chairs are falling yeah. all kinds of crazy stuff. What was that like to go through Oh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, little, it was a little crazy, but, you know, I'm from Brownsville, so, uh, <laughs> well, I, I got busted beside the head with a bottle, but, you know, yeah, it could have, it could have been worse, but, you know, it, never, never dare in the hood to me, you know, that's about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got cut, yeah, 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 I got cut, they bust me and I got cut with it. So, yeah, on my side of my head, yeah. But, you know, regular shit, just different there. Well, obviously nothing like that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, we, we in Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, we in Brooklyn, so. A lot of security. Only people throwing chairs is us. Yeah. But just what do you, you know, you know what happened with Andre, obviously he's out of the fight. Yeah. Now you're elevated on the TV, and like millions of people are gonna see your fight. Yeah. I mean, how, how thankful are you that it worked out? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm very thankful, you know. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry to have. I'm sorry to hear what happened to uh, Berto yeah. and, his, uh, and his problem. But uh, you know, I'm very excited to be on uh, to be on live television. Um, my first fight back, I get to come and show everybody what they've been missing. Uh, I'm just getting ready to get in there, and just put on a good show. You guys, this is kind of something when you were younger in your career, you put a book in fighting on national TV in your hometown. Yeah. You no, yeah, you know, you can't, you can't ask more than that. Uh, my first time, it's in the Barclay too. My first time fighting in the Barclay in Brooklyn, I believe. My last time I fought in Brooklyn was at the Aviator. 
All right, so now, now I'm in uh, at the Barclay, the, uh, the home of the Brooklyn Nets. I'm just ready to go in there and just put on a great show. Like, coming down, or everything good to go? Oh no, everything good. Smooth selling. I've been, I've been working. Everything just smooth selling, you know? We just had to turn it up a notch when we got the pole. But everything's smooth selling. Everybody knows what your real presence is going for a guy, knock a lot of guys out. But you know, one, two, that can happen pretty recently. Does that give you like any kind of advantage or um, not really? No, uh, he's trying to hurt me, you know? Uh, so my best bet is going there, hurt him before he hurt me. You know, this is boxing. We, uh, we don't want nothing to happen to one another, like, you know? But unfortunately, this is a combat sport, so anything could happen once we get in there, you know? But God willing, we all just come out safe and sound, you know, and uh, that's about it. How important is it for you to see, you know, your athlete, you, I mean, your opponent or any other athlete comes clean, you know, like, no use in pets, you mentioned it, we don't want to see no athlete. Oh, the drugs, the drugs, I'm talking about the drugs and shit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm saying, you know, this is a sport where people try to, uh, Get a get a advantage some type of way, you know. Uh, it's it's a real fucked up thing that people do that, you know. Because people like myself, I don't take drugs. I, I train naturally and I'm naturally strong. So people that take drugs to get an enhancement, like it's fucked up, you know. Because you could really hurt somebody. You could really hurt somebody by doing that. You're not really caring what about what you're doing to hurt someone else, like you know. So I believe they should like motherfuckers that do shit like that should be banned, you know, because. Even though they got caught the first time, they may they may not get caught again. You know, because there's always ways to, I believe, not get caught. You know, like just so happily they got caught, but it's a fucked up thing. All right. In here Last question, guys. In the, in the uh, Dillian White situation, he tested positive for some kind of trace from the top, whatever it was. But they didn't tell his opponent, and then then just went forward with the fight. If you were in a situation where your opponent tested positive for whatever. And they didn't tell you. How would you react? The commission did not. The British Boxing Board of Control did not oh. tell them that. Oh, I'm still, I'm, I'm suing for like a, a billion. We won't have to do this shit no more. More than that. Yeah, more than that. You know, uh, like I said, it's a fucked up thing. It's a fucked up thing because you could really, you could really hurt a fighter doing shit like that. You know, and a fighter could really get really hurt. So if somebody get really hurt, like, what's the next step? Take him out your damn self? Take him to the streets? Because really, that's what he's doing, but with gloves on. No, like a, it's like having a cast in your hand. Yeah. You know, you you, 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 you have an advantage. That's fucked up. That's a fucked up thing. Someone to do. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.